Yo, what's good with y'all? What's good with y'all? In today's video, I got the how to make a basic skill, you know, a Sukuna's dismantle attack, you know. You guys remember from Jujutsu Kaisen, um, how he would use like a slash, he used like a slash type of attack, and then, you know, it would dis, literally why it's called dismantle, you know, it would dismember people, you know, take off legs, arms, some people took off some people's heads, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about and stuff. Before I get into that, I just want to say a quick thank you guys so much for 4,000 subscribers. We went to the halfway point to, you know, 10,000 subscribers. I I really do appreciate all the love and support. You guys show all my videos and stuff. I like just the growth is insane. I'm gaining a lot more subscribers. The views are up. I really appreciate it. And I definitely want to say it. Uh, thank you to all the people who leave comments on my videos and stuff like people leave comments on my videos they ping me my discord server or they dm me and they say thank you thank you well for content i really appreciate all that honestly it really motivates me to keep going so i appreciate all that but let me stop wasting all time and get straight into it okay so first things first we're going to go ahead and insert a remote event into replicated storage we're going to name this remote event combat event right then inside of server storage let's get right with our effects okay so simply just insert a folder into server storage name said folder effects and then you're going to put your effect in here i would leave the link to the effect in the description but uh, keep in mind i if you didn't hear me the first time um i to be honest i literally copied the exact same code i used for the overheads i mean for the long range sword attack video and i just changed a couple things it literally it's all it's like i want to say it's like 90 percent 97 98 percent identical and stuff so i but i made that video like a month ago so i don't know where i got this from exactly but just go open the toolbox go to models and just type slash slash effect and then you'll find a whole bunch as for the properties um you want to make sure it's anchored can collide is turned off and then yeah that's really it that's really it for that and then you want to put that effect inside of the effects folder and you want the effects folder to be inside of server storage let me just okay i'm good right and then what we're going to do is head on over to sound servers you want to get your sounds same same thing applies just go into um op open the toolbox go to audio and then just search up uh slash you know slash right slash sounds stuff right so i named this one hit hit is of course as you could tell by the name this is the sound that plays when you actually hit a player and then slash this is just a sound when you just use the attack regardless if you hit a player or not right but you guys can use whatever sounds you want so let's go ahead and get to the scripting we're going to insert a local script into starter play we're going to sorry we're going to open up starter player then insert a local script into starter player scripts we can go ahead and name set script combat script and in parentheses put local i'm going to zoom in just to, well you guys don't have to do that but i'm just saying i'm going to zoom in not nice, too close okay i'm gonna delete print hello world right and then we're gonna make three variables first we're gonna get the user input service we're gonna say local uis equal to game get service user input service right then i'm gonna get the combat remote event i'm gonna say local combat event is equal to game the replicated storage wait for child combat event lastly i'm going to get the local player I'm going to say local player is equal to game dot players dot local player. Then we're going to set up the function. We're going to say UIS the input began connect function. In parentheses, you're going to want to put input comma processed enter. You're going to say if input dot user input type is equal to enter dot user input type dot keyboard and process is equal to false, which remember we're double checking to make sure the player is not typing in chat, then enter. And then I'm going to say if input dot key code is equal to enum dot key code. As you guys know, I always go with E, but it's up to you guys. Uh, it, it's up to you guys for whatever keybind you want to go with. Completely up to you. Or or if you even want to use a keybind. And if you wanted to use like, you know, mouse click. It's up to you guys, right? So enter. Then we're going to fire the remote event. Let's say combat event fire server. In quotation marks, you're going to put dismantle. This is the name of the event. Comma. You're going to say player get mouse dot hit or so we're going to send over the c frame of the map of the player's mouse and then we're also going to send over the mouse position because if you guys uh didn't know uh this is a mouse guided attack so which i mean i wish you'd want it to be mouse guided but yeah and then we're finished with the local script we can then open up server script service and, in and insert a server script so we can name set script combat script and then in parentheses put server um so this does feature knockback this does include knockback so i have my knockback animation here so all you have to do is click plus icon on the script 
Type animation, boom, insert an animation, name, set animation, knockback, or whatever you want. Throw your animation ID in there, and then you're good to go. Stuff, right? And then don't ask for knockback animation. I literally have been using the same one for months. I have no idea where to even get this from. But you can just search search up knockback animations in the toolbox. Then we're going to need to make a couple variables. First, let's get our services. Get the tween service first. So local TS is equal to game get service tween service. Then I'm going to get the debris service. So local DS equal to game get service <clears throat> debris. And then last thing we get the sound service. Well, last well that's last for that's the last thing for our services at least, right? Then let's put a space in between to you know give some space. Then we're going to create a variable for the combat remote event. So combat events is equal to game the replicated storage wait for child combat event. And then for the last variable we're going to get we're going to create a variable for the effects folder. So local effects is equal to game that server storage wait for child effects right. Now we're going to set up the function. We're going to say combat event that on server event connect function. In parentheses, you're going to put PLR short for the player, comma event type, comma arg1, comma arg2. Arg short for arguments, argument number one, argument number two. Then we're going to create a variable for the player's character. So we're going to say local character is equal to player dot character and then we're going to set up an if statement we're going to say if event type is equal to quotation marks remember the name of the event so dismantle enter then we're going to create a couple variables first things first we're going to identify the arguments so we're going to say first local mouse c frame is equal to arg1 and local mouse position is equal to arg2 right then i'm going to clone the effect i'm going to say local effect Clone is equal to effects, regular brackets, and then we're going to get the um slash right effect and then clone. And then I'm gonna say effect clone dot c frame is equal to character dot humanoid or sorry humanoid root part dot c frame times c frame dot angles zero comma math dot rad negative forty Eight, uh, zero. Just to let y'all know, um, just so you guys know, the reason why I have this time C frame angles is because without this, um, it's not the slash wasn't facing the the right direct like the, it wasn't facing the right orientation. It didn't have the right orientation. So if yours is facing like the wrong, like it's like it's sideways up, like whatever, upside down, whatever. Mess around with this. You want to mess around with this, right? Let's just let y'all know because it may not be work the exact same as you guys. Then I'm gonna say effect effects clone dot parent is equal to workspace. Right, then I'm gonna begin setting up setting up some things for the tween. So I'm gonna say local start position, we're gonna calculate that by by saying is equal to well not really calculating, but is equal to character that humanoid root part that position, and then create a variable for the end position, which is equal to mouse position, right? And lastly we're gonna set up the duration. So local duration is equal to parentheses end position. Minus start position, go on the outside. Then you're gonna say dot magnitude. Then you're gonna divide it by sixty. Adjust the adjust adjust uh, the number that you're dividing it by. So adjust sixty if you want it to be slower or faster. Just messing around with that. Then we're gonna set up the tween. We're gonna say local tween is equal to ts create. You're gonna throw the effect clone in there for the instance. Right. Then you say comma tween info dot new. Of course for duration, we're gonna throw the duration variable in there. Then we're gonna say enum. Oh sorry. We're gonna say enum dot easing style. We're gonna go with cubic. I recommend either cubic or quad, but that uh, person would go with cubic. Then enum dot easing direction out, of course, right? Then in between the parentheses, put a comma, space, special brackets to create a table so we can set up our property changes. We're gonna say C frame is equal to mouse C frame. Then of course we're going to play said tween, right? Then after playing system we're gonna say ss dot slash remember the sound effect that plays whenever you use the attack. Then I'm going to set up then I'm going to set up a function. I'm going to say effect I'm gonna say effect clone dot touched connect function in parentheses put hit enter. Here's where we're gonna set up the knockback. Here's where we're gonna we're gonna set up the knockback, the ragdoll, the damage and this and the dismemberment. So I'm gonna say if hit I'm gonna double check something okay just making sure I'm not I wanna make sure I'm not muted myself anyway. I'm gonna say hit dot parent find first child then put hum then put humanoid right and hit dot parent dot name 
is nil equal to player name. So of course the player isn't damaging themselves, right? Enter, then you're gonna set up a variable for the enemy character. You're gonna say local enemy character is equal to hit that parent so we don't get confused. Then we're gonna go ahead and set up knockback. So first things first, let's create a attach attachment is equal to instance that new attachment parent the attachment to the enemy character's humanoid root part then create a linear velocity and then you're going to parent this to the attachment right then we're going to set some properties for the linear velocity we're going to say layer velocity that layer linear velocity that max four is equal to five nines and then we're going to say linear velocity that vector velocity is equal to uh parentheses character dot humanoid root part dot position minus enemy character dot humanoid root part dot position on the outside you put dot unit and then you're gonna say uh sorry times vector three dot new zero comma zero negative twenty adjust that value uh that'll adjusting the negative twenty like adjusting the z value will determine how far the player is knocked back and then lastly you're going to say linear velocity that attachment zero is equal to uh, attachment right then moving on we're going, to, we're going to take quickly take care of the um ragdoll so we're going to say enemy character dot humanoid root part anchored just in case equal to false and then i'm going to say enemy character <clears throat> dot humanoid root part that c frame is equal or sorry times equal to c frame dot angles and then you're gonna say math dot red 180 comma zero comma zero right then we're gonna set up the knockback animation track so we're gonna say local at is equal to enemy character make sure it's the enemy character because you wouldn't want your character to play a knockback animation when it's the enemy character being you know knocked back so enemy character dot humanoid load animation then you're going to say script regular bracket sorry script regular bracket quotation marks then you find your knockback animation then you're going to say oh sorry i'm going to say at you know animation track play right then you're going to play the hit sound so hit play you're going to destroy the effect clone right you're going to also destroy whatever was hit whatever body part was hit in other words, it'll like if if you hit the player's arm, it will show, it'll show the player's arm, right? And then you're also gonna add to debris service. So debris service add item. You're gonna add the attachment, and then you're gonna have it for 0 0.1 second. And then you're gonna say enemy character. First, we're gonna you know do enemy humanoid. That health is less than equal to 10. You know some damage. I mean some health reduction. Then we're gonna skip. We're gonna go in between right here, right? Put a line, and then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do debris service add item effect effect clone comma duration minus 0 0.2 seconds this is to pretty much ensure that it's destroyed if it doesn't make contact with anything right as always if you guys want access to any of my scripts or models you guys can come either a channel member or a disc or subscriber link to either, either one of those options can be found in the, in the uh, description yeah let's go ahead and test this out so if i press e you guys see you guys see how the slash you guys see you guys saw the slash fire up it did damage and it took off the npc's uh, arm let me see if i can take off the other arm let me see. Oh, well, I hit, I hit the human root part. Let me see if I could try to take off. Oh, well, he's dead. Anyway, you guys see it works. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave like and subscribe. Um, um, I would say let me know about next videos, but request to close. But well, anyway, if you enjoyed the video, leave like and subscribe. Thank you, thank you for all the love. Thank you guys again for 4,000 subscribers, and I will see you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed, leave like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.